You know, there are a few books that I think are really important. Um, at least they were in my development as, as I was growing up. And uh, I just want to talk to you about a couple of those. Number one was The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen R. Covey. Uh, he, he just talks about how to start yourself in the right way uh, when it comes to presenting yourself in life, how you treat yourself and how you treat others, how you look at uh, life and business and opportunities. And I just think that was a really important book to start out. Uh, it talks about communication and interaction. And I just think that was a really, really, really neat book for me to learn how to kind of, you know, grind out some, some, some base human uh, interaction stuff. I also liked um, Gung Ho by Kenneth Blanchard. Uh, this is a book that talks about how groups of people within an organization can kind of cheer each other on. You know, he, he, he talks about a rather mundane uh, department within a taxation uh, building and how these people tried to find a way to make something like that a much better place and a much more happy and much more cultured place to work. And I thought that was a really neat book to, that talked about how groups of people treat each other. Um, and move forward in an entire organization. So I think that's one that, that you should read. The next one is called The Book of Awakening uh, by Mark Nepo. This is a really neat book because it has these short little stories of how you should think or potentially how you used to think about something, but could you think about that in a completely different way? And um, it's really enlightening because you're going along thinking about a certain concept or a certain relationship or a certain thing in your life. And then you read this book and you see, well, God, you know, there's a couple other ways to look at this. And um, so I really, really like The Awakening by Mark Nepo. I think that's one that you should add to your list. Uh, and if I had to add just a few more, The Present um, by Spencer Johnson. He writes a lot of very short books. And uh, the, the Present is a really good book because it teaches you how to live now, um, how to live in the present, how to live today, uh, and not worry about yesterday or too far into the future. So a um, couple of good books I think you ought to read. I think you'll enjoy them, and I think they'll make a good base uh, for you to learn for your future.